Well, hello, my friends out there. Welcome to the one and only, the one and only, the only one, the real deal. You may see imitations out there, but I'm the real deal. I'm the one and only pinbug guy, the pinbug man, the madman, the man of everywhere, anywhere. Hmm. The insane guy, whatever you want to call me, I'm it. But anyway, it's good to be back. It's good to have you all back. And welcome to my humble home. Today I'm going to do some ink. I'm not going to go through the whole nine yards of the ink review. No need for that. I'm just like I always do is want to introduce a new ink that I have and put it on paper and let you see what it looks like on paper. Okay? All right. Well, first of all, this review is sponsored by Lima from Pin Boutique. And thank you, Lena, for sending me the bottle of much-needed Mont Blanc. Not any ink, but one of the inks, the Mont Blanc. No other than the Scarlet Red. Even the name sounds redify. So let's get inkify. So let's open this little jewel up. It's been sitting here on my table, and uh, I just uh, haven't been able to get to it because I've been, you know, not, I've been under the weather, as you all well know. I have my health issues, but uh, I had to do this. I wanted to do this, and I'm going to do it. So there. Hmm. All right, so let's see if that opens it up. It's just about gone. There it is. Okay, so here we go. You know, I like how Mont Blanc do, uh, does their uh, presentations of ink, first of all. This one, I like everything that it says, what it shows, even the color of the ink. You got Mont Blanc on the top, and it's a 50 mil box. Uh, and also, I do like the uh, color that they come on the box to define the color of the ink that's inside. So that's kind of cool. So let's open it up. I also like the other bottles. I have uh, the ones that look like a, a high heel shoe. Those are pretty cool too. So anyway, here we go. And I just cannot wait to taste this ink. Made in Austria. All right. All right, folks. Have any of you ever tried this ink yet? If you have, leave your comments below. Tell me your thoughts about this ink, okay? I'm going to put it on there real nice and juicy. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And let me get the old pen out here. I'm just going to write what it is, Mont Blanc, okay. Mont Blanc, Scarlet. Redify. Red, okay. All right. And uh, this is the uh, Franklin Kristoff paper, the tablet that uh, I got, oh, maybe a couple or two years ago. It's almost gone, but I still got quite a few pages left. So here's what it looks like. Now, I do like the red, no doubt about it. I'm going to have to buy some more. But also, what do you think about the Mont Blanc? You, uh, red uh, that has come out by Mont Blanc. The and it's Petit called, Prince. Right, thank you. Uh, that has come out for a while already. Uh, you know, I don't know what year this was put out. Was it this year, last year, year before last? But uh, 
yeah, the uh, the the color of this red is also really a nice shade of red. I, I like that. It's deep, it's rich, and it's just an enjoyable ink to ink up your pen and and just enjoy the flow of this beautiful lush red that just come out. Now look at this red here. What do you think, Mister Announcer? The scarlet red versus the Fox, which one is nicer? Are they a tie? What's your input? What's your opinion on this? I was trying to determine that. To me, they look really similar. Now, I can tell a difference here. This yeah. is a little darker mm -hmm. than the other one, but this area right in here looks extremely similar to that one to my eye. Okay, and uh, I'm going to also, while I'm at it, uh, I'm going to try this paper, and it's called the... Ayush. And this was sent to me by Frank from Federalist Pens and Paper. It's got some good paper going on here at a reasonable price. If you hadn't tried to get a hold of Frank, and uh, he'll send you out a couple of boxes. Really is good stuff. I was totally impressed when he sent me this. So I am going to put it on this paper as well. And I'll let that dry a little bit. To give you guys what it looks like on different paper as well. That's important because as you all will know that uh, paper well, make your inks may, may look different on different papers, uh, if you get my drift. Here's some Clairefontaine paper that I think I want to try that as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, well, I guess we can use that right here. We'll come over here and do it on the Clairefontaine. As well, so you have three different papers right here, okay? And uh, looks pretty darn good. But I need me some of this ink right here. I like that color too. But they, they almost are both look the same. Uh, now this one has pretty much dried yet. Let's see. This one could be a little darker than the scarlet red. Just a tab. Like to me has maybe just a little bit more depth in it. It just has this beautiful redness about it. So what do y'all y'all can look and you can compare and leave your comments below and tell me your thoughts. I'm always uh interested to know what you guys think out there. So I am going to leave it at that. So, hey, thank you folks for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pins today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't you think it's time? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah! And don't forget, hit that little bell. That will notify you when I put up a new video. Because you don't want to miss a video because you never know what's going to happen. Isn't that right, Mr. Announcer? Exactly. It's a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun, right? Just hanging out and just being who we are. Pin nerds, right? Peace, love, be kind to a stranger, and as always, very important, don't text and drive. Bye-bye.